Okay, I'm test driving this C10 1987 Silverado. <laughs> Sounds like it's got glass packs on it. It's in pretty good shape. It's got some details that need to be worked on. Interior door panels. AC is blowing cool, but not very hard. But it rides so smooth. I don't think the speedometer is correct because I know I'm not going 65 miles an hour. Boy, it feels good. I hear some air leaking in that door over there. Boy, it rides smooth, tight. Looks like the hood's trying to pop on me, pop up on me a little bit. last October 2020 and looks like they redid everything on the front end after uh, the wreck after it got stolen um, frame was bent on the front tip and they fixed that as well it was stolen from the current owner in Columbia South Carolina 3 o'clock in the morning Yeah, that is not very much AC. It's got some little issues here, here, this. Power door locks, power windows work. Got some new seals on the bottom of the windows here. Paint looks pretty good up there. I'm gonna have to close that window. get back to the guy's house I'm going to look underneath um, just kind of really look over it look at the floor pans from the outside it looks excellent but you never know could have been a rust bucket before they started you don't know I'll tap around the body see if it's got a lot of bondo in it just kind of check some of those things yep We'll just see how it goes from here. Yeah, rides really good. Power steering works great. Shifts well. Motor sounds good and smooth. Well, I'll continue the video once I get to his house. Okay, I'm here back at the guy's house and I'm gonna take a look at this and video a little bit of, about what it looks like where it was wrecked and stuff like that see what you guys think Hello. got a lot 
lot of traffic on this road. It's got the rhino liner in the back. It's peeling on the outside edge over there. Wonder if it's got some type of warranty that covers that. Boy, that bed looks really good. 1987 is what this one is. And he had it painted. And it's got some scuffs and scratches where he had it painted now. And then in the wreck, they painted the cab. So, see a little bit of stuff going on. Down here, looks like it was probably some Bondo. They filled in up in here. Scratches, scuffs. That overall, looks pretty good though. It's got the original wheels. pretty good yeah this window seal replaced on both sides I think around here too the seat looks pretty good no it looks like the original seat must have had a cover on it for years it's a little dirty but hey it's a truck carpet in here that's the original carpet a little damp right there so yeah, definitely damp there. Mm. Yeah, got some leakage going on there. Possibly. And I'm gonna see what the floor looks like underneath it. Mm, not even a speck of rust. Fairly new exhaust. It's got two tanks. That's what the floor looks like. Man, that looks good. The fluid on that transmission. Like a new starter. Man, the suspension doesn't look bad either. I mean, it's got a little surface rust on it. Other than that, it looks pretty good. I got some condensation from that AC. Man, there's no rust on this thing. It's amazing. Nothing. No rust at all. Very, very clean. Looks like some old shocks. I'm sure, it's got some issues here and there, but not. A and the bottom of that bed looks excellent. Doesn't look like the rear end's leaking at all. Fender wells look amazing. Back side of this quarter panel looks amazing. It's never even been hit in the rear. Usually you'll have a little bends at the back. Like right here. There's still a little peeling going on there. There's a little rust bubble on the inside, not the outside. So 
that actually looks pretty good. <clears throat> go look at the floor panel on the other side. Dry over here. Boy, got a lot of dirt in there. Woo! Thing looks to be in pretty good shape. Yeah, a lot of this is new over here, from what I understand. The suspension's original, though. Man, that frame looks so good. And then, on the tip of the frame, they actually had to replace it. I guess where it extends to the bumpers. Looks like they had to do some cutting on that. Exhaust pipe. Okay, exhaust. I mean, the floor pan looks really good here, too. Man, looks so good. <clears throat> There's a little bit how the side looks. Okay, here's the motor. We've got a 350 in here. Here's where they did the welding, right there on the frame. Goes around the side. Actually looks really good. Excellent job on that. It drives straight. Still got the original jack in there. Firewall looks good. Maybe that blower needs to be replaced or something. I'm not sure, but it hardly puts out any air. It's got a die-hard battery. It's not bolted down in there. That's not good. That could jump around the way I drive. Looks like the alternator's been in here for a little while. <clears throat> <clears throat> Hood underside is completely painted. If this was all wrecked, they must have put a used one of these in here. They probably used a lot of used parts, which makes sense. It looks a little loose right there. No washers on these like there are over here. Okay, I'm gonna start it up. The mirror looks like it's getting ready to come off the side over there. Motor sounds good. If I get it, what should I do with it? Be sure to like and subscribe. You guys have a good one. Thanks for watching.